as the United States approaches another recession. Walmart's empire is quietly collapsing. When you are the world's largest retailer, even a 1% drop in earnings can translate into billions of dollars in losses, but profits are down by nearly a quarter compared to a year ago, implying that the big box retailers' woes are far worse than anyone could have predicted. Compared to Fiat, but new data show that the retailer has recently fallen behind. Walmart's popularity has begun to dwindle among customers, and significant gaps are beginning to form in its business. The company is mostly hidden. Because of the issues it is facing, its financial struggles have been kept out of the spotlight. Are different around the world, allowing the superstore gene to blend into the background. However, as wise fools Travis Orem pointed out, when we read between the lines, we can quickly identify a company in serious trouble. And could be the latest in a long line of top retainers to go from boom to bust in the blink of an eye. That is why, in today's video, we have compiled a collection of numbers, facts, and statistics demonstrating that Walmart's best days are behind it. Before checking this list, please support us with a thumbs up in this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, which is the world's largest retailer. In a September 29th announcement, the country's largest grocery store shared an ominous sales outlook for the fourth quarter of 2022. Walmart anticipates a significant decline in profit margins as the rising cost of everyday necessities consumes more of household budgets, leaving shoppers with less money to spend on items they want, such as new clothing. To get rid of merchandise that isn't selling, the company will have to slash prices on a wide range of items, hurting its bottom line during the busiest shopping season of the year. Walmart also announced that it expects adjusted earnings per share to fall by 9% in this quarter and by 13% compared to the same period last year, emphasizing the company's recent financial difficulties. Three days after the announcement, the market reacted accordingly, sending Walmart shares down by 8% in a single day, and while it has since recovered, it remains near the lows of a consolidation pattern 4 at the moment. Walmart's stock remains below its 50-day moving average, indicating that it is still struggling. It is also below the longer-term 200-day moving average. Its recent poor performance in the market downturn was not the worst ever. This year, in fact, it was in May. Shares of the supermarket chains fell 11.7 points in a single day after the company released its first earnings report, revealing that its first quarter was exceptionally weak, as investors expected. The retailer will pay the reporter $1.48 per share. Profit but Walmart reported a loss of 1.30 cents per share. According to Gap data, the retail giant reported a 24% drop in profit per share year over year. Investors understandably worry about diluted shares. Are dissatisfied. As a result of the news, profits suffer. Outsourcing is the least of Walmart's problems. There was no profit for the retailer. Instead of consuming $3.8 billion from operations over the last quarter, include $3.5 billion in capital. Walmart's free cash flow and spending. According to historical data provided by SMP Global Market Intelligence, more financial losses for Hallmark may be on the way. Quarter 3 was a depressingly negative $7.3 billion, and the company hadn't experienced negative cash flow from operations since quarter 3 1995, more than a quarter century ago. According to an IBT stock checkup, earnings have actually fallen by an average of 4.5% over the last three quarters. This falls far short of the 25% growth sought by investors. Over the last three years, the retail chain's monthly sales have increased by an average of 10%. As a result, sales are expected to increase by 4% in the fourth quarter of 2022. To put it another way, it appears unimpressive. Walmart stock is viewed by investors as a no, buy right now. During a post-earnings conference call last month, Executives stated that the company is experiencing a lack of cash flow, which was the primary cause because it spent heavily to build inventory in the first two quarters of the year, and the cost of its inventory was further elevated due to inflation. The main issue was that the more expensive items purchased this year simply did not sell at the rate expected by the company, resulting in a massive inventory glut. In recent months, Walmart has cancelled a large number of orders. According to John David Rainey, the company's EVP and CFO, the retailer was reducing its exposure to home electronics and sporting goods. The retail titan understands how important low prices are to its success. Customers, but the company has just issued an alarming warning to all customers worldwide. On the food front, we're seeing double-digit inflation, which concerns me. That inflation may continue to rise. CEO Doug McMillan stated that Walmart's grocery division 
prices have already risen by 21% since July 2019. It's no surprise that consumers are shopping less at the superstore chain between now and July 2022. In fact, Walmart has been losing money for several years now. Wars with its rivals for the longest period of time wars used to be the big box retailers game. The company was so good at it that it was known for driving mom and pop stores out of business. At its peak, business was the undisputed leader in low prices, but the battle is no longer so simple. Walmart's income statement is rife with real estate related expenses for its big box stores. On the other hand, e-commerce retailers are exempt from these costs because they manage their entire business. The virtual world's business when it comes to pricing, lower is better, and Walmart is steadily losing ground. One of the things that used to define the company. According to Goldman Sachs analysts, Walmart super centers are particularly struggling as consumers. Because people prefer convenience stores to one-stop shops, the retail giant's mega stores saw a 3% drop. Same store sales fell in the third quarter compared to the same period last year, while foot traffic in Walmart's US stores fell by 2.1%. Customers, I believe, have been particularly interested in convenience. According to CFO Charles Hawley, US consumers appear more focused on some combination of value and convenience, as Goldman Sachs analysts predicted in a recent research note, predicting the slow decline of big box retailers such as Walmart and Target. Many people are unaware that Walmart is the largest employer in the United States, but as the holiday season approaches, the retailer is slowing down on recruiting. Walmart's seasonal hiring total is down 73 from last year, with the company adding only 40 000 seasonal staff members compared to the same time in 2021, when the company added 150 000, mostly permanent and full-time associates, as well as 20,000 supply chain workers, indicating that corporate America is bracing for a deep recession. In August Walmart said that major layoffs were necessary for the company's future in a single month it reportedly laid off approximately 200 of its corporate employees admit growing concerns over inflation and sagging customer spending in a statement the company said inflationary prices reflecting supply chain problems and storage costs associated with a backlog of shipping containers were also forcing the retailer to find more ways to reduce costs. To be honest, Walmart's supply chain. The retailer's operations were in disarray. Built to keep its mega stores inventory stocked, they are the leaders in mass transportation and obtaining bulk discounts, but when it comes to schedule reliability and on-time deliveries, the company falls short due to the logistics involved. Individual products are now delivered to the consumer's door at the lowest possible cost through supply chains. This is where e-commerce retailers have an advantage over traditional retailers. Customers have also complained about many illogical issues with Walmart, such as when they place multiple product orders with Amazon and receive them all at the same time. When a large number of Walmart products are ordered and they arrive at different times making it inconvenient for the customer. If things were going well for the retail behemoth, it would not have permanently closed 160 stores in 27 states over the last two years. Over 400 people were laid off as a result of the closures. With 10,000 employees, the states were the hardest hit. To the north, Texas had 29 closures. Carolina defeated Arkansas 17 to 11. In addition, the retailer has temporarily closed hundreds of stores in recent weeks, so if your local Walmart is closed, that's why. As of September 30th, according to the Big Box Retailer's website, at least 240 stores are currently closed across the United States, with no set date for reopening. Some of the facilities were experiencing product and personnel shortages, while others have been impacted by Hurricane Ian, which has resulted in inventory losses totaling an estimated $6 million, and this is only within the state of Florida. The retail chain is closing down around the world. It will close 269 stores as part of the Walmart Express pilot program. 95% of those affected are within a 10-mile radius. A different Walmart. It is never an easy decision to close a store. However, it is necessary to maintain the company. Strong and positioned for the future CEO. Doug McMillan stated that the layoffs will begin at the end of the month and that they plan to lay off 16,000 people. Company's global revenue given that closed doors mean money not made. Having said that, it is becoming increasingly clear that Walmart's empire is gradually crumbling. Walmart's hegemony in the United States may be eroding. According to JP Morgan, Walmart will be the largest retailer in 2020. Amazon is on track to surpass Walmart as the best performing company in the country this year. 
According to the analysts, Amazon's U.S. Gross Merchandise Volume, or GMV, which is a closely watched industry metric used to measure the total value of goods sold over a given time period, has grown significantly faster than both U.S. adjusted retail sales and U.S. e-commerce. Analysts from J.P. Morgan at Amazon's GMV in 2022 is expected to have increased 41% year-on-year, while Walmart's GMV is expected to have decreased. The amount is €10 Euros for the year 2020. Based on current projections we believe Amazon will overtake Walmart as the largest retailer in the United States by 2022. Christopher Hover and Doug Ammuth of J.P. Morgan wrote, All of these statistics suggest that the world's largest the foundation may not be on solid ground for retailers. However, this is no longer the case. The entire story Walmart is the thermometer for the entire American economy. Despite the fact that it is a declining empire, the organization is solely concerned with selling goods and services to Americans. It continues to sell a large volume of merchandise every day, so when Walmart misses estimates, it can only mean one of two things, either Walmart or the the American economy is weaker than anyone else's. Or both at the same time. Time. Walmart is a fantastic business. Howard Davidowitz, one of the country's top retail minds, did not become stupid overnight, despite the fact that the economy is collapsing. That is what is happening right now. Now, either America's best merchants have forgotten how to sell, Americans have stopped spending, or the economy is turning Davidowitz, and the South is not improving. Outlines, adding that as we enter another recession, there is nothing the government or industry executives can do, we've spent all the money, we've borrowed all the money, and we're in the tank, the expert added. Simply put, as the American consumer goes bankrupt, so does the world's largest retail business. Walmart's traditional business model is showing signs of weakness both domestically and internationally if the retailing behemoth fails to adapt to New York market trends. E-commerce competitors may squish Walmart and send it into a downward spiral, as we've seen with so many other retailers in recent years. Will be the most powerful retailer on the market? Be a victim of the unstoppable retail apocalypse that is yet to come. The future does not look promising. Right now in the previous earnings report was a train wreck that resulted in significant losses just after the retail chain had a pretty bad losing streak. In the end, the company's demise is simply a reflection of a collapsing economy and what we've seen. So far, this is just the beginning of a string of setbacks for Walmart, which will affect American consumers and the entire economy. Thank you for taking the time to watch. We look forward to hearing from you in the comments section of this video, and please subscribe to our channel.